Develop a fortune, state of mind, state of mind. It's time for a date with, time for a date with, a date with the Dorseys. Hello, hello, hello. This is yet another date with the Dorseys. I am Dr. Jatan. And I am Floyd Dorsey. Hence, a date with the with Dorseys. The Dorsey. <laughs> We are back again with another hot topic, and today's topic is getting to the root of the matter. I am so excited to jump into this topic, so I'm going to go ahead and let Mr. Dorsey start us off let's, today. Let's take it away. Yeah. All right, here we go. So I had a conversation with a friend a couple weeks ago, and it was a very interesting story he told me. Uh, he said that he woke up early in the morning and his head was hurting. Wasn't really sure what was going on, but he just figured he'd go treat this headache. So he went to take a, a few Ad, Advil, aspirins, Tylenols, or some form of pills to treat the headache. Then after he laid down for a little bit more, he realized his stomach was hurting. He said, well, man, I need to do something about this stomach pain. So then he went to his closet in his uh, pantry, got some medication for his stomach ache. After he'd taken the medicine for the stomach ache, he realized his headache was seemed like it was coming back. So it wasn't really sure what it was. And then the stomach felt a little bit better, but then it was starting to go back into the same direction it was before. Wasn't really sure. So he went and took even more medications of the same that he just took in hopes that it was going to heal the pain that he was feeling. At some point, he realized, look, I just need to go to the doctor, right? Because this can go on days for days and I can only get temporary relief and I say temporary relief from the medication that I'm taking. Hmm. Finally went to the doctor and the doctor said, hey, here's the deal. You have pneumonia. You know, some of the symptoms of pneumonia will be the headache, the fatigue, the stomach ache, the things that you're feeling. But we must treat the pneumonia first. And then we could deal with some of the pains. And then it would alleviate some of the pains that you're feeling in these other areas for your symptoms. Mm -hmm. Right. And when I think about how we interact and how we are in our lives, careers, relationships, whatever it may be, I, I see that we experience some of the same type of uh, same situations. Yeah. Yeah. So when you say I know we open up <clears throat> with the topic being getting to the root of the matter. So just to kind of recap what you said. So in essence, there were many cis cis symptoms goodness if i can get it out <laughs> many <laughs> symptoms that came about that triggered um this person to uh take different medications to subside those symptoms when in fact it was a bigger issue that wasn't being tended to absolutely right and a lot of times we do that like as you mentioned in our careers and relationships and so forth and when we talk about careers one of the the biggest things that I hear often is people that are not satisfied in their careers, right? They're right. feeling like it's just not progressing. They're, they're stagnant. That's it. But are they truly dealing with those, that bigger issue or solving for those small symptoms that they deal with daily? Right. So one form of medication people will take, let's say I'm just unhappy. Well, mm -hmm. they'll, let's say, let me listen to a song on the radio that'll make me happy. While I'm in this space. While I'm in this space. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like taking a, a Tylenol, right? right? It's going to give you that temporary relief, uh -huh. but you're still right there and you haven't treated so the So if root. you take the headbuds, the earbuds out, then the, the problem's still there, <laughs> The right? problem's still there. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. <laughs> okay. And then some other things that they could deal with on the job is, you know, not able to um, interact well with the team. Absolutely. Right. So that's another time where you can put these earbuds in I and just them tune in. them out. Tune them out. Right? <laughs> I, but is that solving the issue? No, I, I can get receive negative feedback from a manager, a peer or somebody like that. Mm -hmm. Right. So mm -hmm. to do that, well, I can just go vent to yeah. somebody else and get that off. And now they'll give me the affirmation to make me feel good. Right. And I'm OK. But now the problem's, back to still there. the problem's still there. But in even in thinking about this or talking through it, I'm thinking in this situation, there's a common denominator. Yes. And that's the person. That's the person. <laughs> that's the and person. And a lot of times we don't really dig into that thought as well. So we think it's everyone else and everything else when the root starts with us. It starts with you. Yeah. So just in the situation where um, my friend, uh, he was dealing with pneumonia that he didn't realize. Once he was treated for the pneumonia, which is one thing, right? You, mm -hmm. you want to stop the bleeding. You want to heal whatever it is that you're going through. Right. But you have to go a step further and say, now, how do we prevent this from even happening again? What are some, what are some preventative measures? What are things that we can do 
to better set ourselves up so in the future that we wouldn't be facing the same problems. Right. So instead of just putting the Band-Aid on it, what else do we need to do? We want to fix it. We yes. want to eliminate and, and mitigate any probability of this occurring again. Right, right. So in tying this back to the, the relationship and or I'm sorry, the career discussion that we had. So for that person that's feeling stagnant, unhappy, doing these many things to, um, I guess, put the Band-Aids, as we mentioned, on those issues momentarily, what are some things that you know, we can share with the, the folks that are listening to us as far as how to overcome that and really get to the root of the cause or the issue when it comes to feeling stagnant in your career. I think one of the first things uh, one should do is that just continue to ask those questions, right? You have mm -hmm. to ask yourself those questions and go deeper than what it is. For mm -hmm. example, if I'm on a job and I'm just not happy or I receive negative feedback or I don't get along in, within the interactions with mm -hmm. some of my peers or cohorts. I have to ask those questions as to why, right. what, what's going on, what's driving it, right? What's, what's really uh, making me feel the way I feel. And once you go deeper and deeper, you'll realize that, wow, this is me. I'm just, I'm unhappy with the situation. I mean, that I'm my stagnation or with me, um, waiting for things to happen for me as opposed to me being proactive and taking my career in my own hand. So the question is, what can I do? What can I do? So right. you have to go deeper than just some of the symptoms that you're facing. Mm -hmm. Once you understand what you can do and whatever those things are, because it may differ for each person. So I can't give you a one, uh, one stop shop, uh, you know, peel for, for all of them, but it just depends on the situation. Absolutely. But once you do understand what that thing is, what's, what's the root, right? Of that problem. And you address that route. Now you have to put yourself on a plan to say, this is this is my preventative care for even uh, ever facing these challenges again. Absolutely, yes. A career preventative care plan, right? Mm. Where daily, these are the routines and things that I do. These are the, the custom norms for my daily interaction uh, as I pursue other things in my life. So if my activities daily line up with my vision or my goals, then I'm on the right path. All right, all right. But if my activities... Uh, goals are taking me in a different direction than my goal or my vision or the way I see myself in my career, then that's when we know we have a problem because you'll end up right back in the same situation that you found yourself in mm -hmm. when you were in the stagnation, uh, when you were facing the stagnation problems. Yeah. And when you sit in that stagnation, just as with any illness, and you mentioned in the story, there were different symptoms that continued to progress and grow and, and, and become that may, may not have been a symptom before. Same with your career when you're dealing with these issues and you, you have these uh, various things that you're unhappy with or the, the, the uh, unsatisfactory performance reviews or whatever. If you do not resolve one symptom, <laughs> this is going to continue to grow. It's going to snowball, Absolutely. right? Okay. So any final thoughts? I would say the, the main thing is before you start treating your symptoms or addressing what you think the problems are, make sure you take a step back and look at the bigger picture and ask those questions. Yeah. And I guarantee you that some of the answers are within you as well as the problem may be within you. And once you're able to identify what those things are, then it's time to take action. That'd be my final thought. Please feel free to reach out to yes. Dr. Jatun and myself. We're here to help in any way possible with those type of situations. Yes. And of course, I have to give you our email address just in case you have questions, want to recommend any topics for the future. It's support at fortuneenterprise.com. And that's I-V-T-U-N-E enterprise.com. This has been yet another awesome day with the Dorseys, and we hope that you'll join us for our free future sessions. If I can get my tongue right today, right? <laughs> <laughs> so thanks again for joining, and remember, remember, get to the root of the matter. Thank you. Bye. Develop a fortune, state of mind, state of mind. It's time for a date with, time for a date with. A date with the Dorsey.